October 31st, Halloween. It's juvenile hunt in Tennessee. I'm here with my son, Easton. We gonna go trick-or-treating for a deer. We're at that private land. I got permission to hunt. Small 22 acres. We decided to come here this morning. That way, you can shoot whatever. Coyote, dog, cat, whatever walks. Now we're gonna shoot a deer, hopefully. Pretty good morning. It's had a good cold front come through yesterday. It's 41 degrees now, so everything looks good except for the moon. We got a full moon, so that could hurt us a little bit, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. We'll see you in the woods. Easton shot his first buck. I didn't get all of it on camera because I didn't think he was going to shoot that soon. <laughs> so I was trying to zoom in on the deer when he shot. It made me hit the stop button. But it looked like he was hit and he ran off. And it's been about 35 minutes. And we're going to slip in here and see if we can't find him. My fingers crossed. Eason's first buck, first deer ever. It ain't been just the easiest journey. We've been hunting since he was 10. He's 14 now, so we've always had some bad luck, it seems like. You deer hunt, you know how that goes. But we got lucky this time, and it finally paid off. I'm proud of him. How'd it make you feel? Good. I'm glad to get the monkey off your back. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now the real work begins. I'm gonna make him do everything. <laughs> right, we're back at it it's the same afternoon drove home hung that deer up put some ice in him and now we're back out here in tennessee you can only kill one buck a day so life gonna be dough only this afternoon we're gonna hunt on the edge of the field see what we can't run into shoot a big old nanny doe
at 6.30. I'm fixing to pack it up. It was kind of boring until about the last 30 minutes. How many deer we see? About five. Five or six deer. Most of them was bucks. One a pretty good one. <laughs> Bigger than the one he shot this morning, but he bucked out for the day. Had to let him walk. We'll be back at it in the morning, though. All right, juvenile day two. We're running late. 44 degrees. Had a full moon last night, so... I don't know what's going to happen. Hopefully we see some deer. We're hunting a little clear cut. Last time I hunted, I didn't see anything, but you never know this time of year. But we need to get a move on and see in the woods.
All right, guys, that's going to close out this hunt. Uh, we had a real good time. Really proud of Easton for hanging in there and wanting to continue to hunt. It can be tough on kids hunting, sitting in a tent stand, especially with today's fast-paced world. So sitting in a deer stand, staring at some leaves and two squirrels can kind of not be too cool. Um, that's probably one of the big reasons why, you know, young hunters or hunters period has, has been in a real decline across the nation. That's one thing I, I never, I never push my kids to do anything. If they want to do it, that's great. And you know, if they don't want to do it, that's okay too. You kind of got to let kids do their own thing. You push a kid in one direction for so long, it'll come to a time where they just say, you know, <laughs> I don't want to do this anymore. So, uh, that's kind of how it's been with Easton. You know, I'm taking fishing here and there but never pressured him to do it. Same thing with hunting. You know, I asked him, you wanna go on juvenile? Yes, one year he actually said no and we didn't go. And that's fine, you know, I didn't act upset about it. And you know, it seems like he's starting to come around now and really starting to enjoy the outdoors, so. So that's pretty cool. And you know, if he ends up getting out of it, that's, that's fine too, you know, everybody's different. If he don't wanna hunt, that's cool. He got his first deer and I'm real proud of him. He made a great shot, clean kill. And uh, he actually gutted the deer himself. I helped him a little bit, but you know, first time around he gutted his own deer. And as you can see, the deer is right here behind me. That's what I'm fixing to do now. Go ahead and skin it and get it quartered up, put on ice. That being said, uh, this will be my last hunting video until rifle season starts. I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one.